What is cross-cultural communication? ภาษาไทยนะคะเราจะเรียกคำว่า cross-cultural communication ว่าการสื่อสารข้ามวัฒนธรรมค่ะ So the cross-cultural communication is a field of study that looks at how people from different cultural backgrounds communicate in similar and different ways among themselves and how they endeavor to communicate across cultures. Intercultural communication is a related field of study. However, we already know the definition of culture in the first episode, right? So next, I will talk about the definition of communication. We define the communication as it's nearly impossible to go through a day without the use of communication. It's nearly impossible to go through a day without the use of communication. Communication is sending and receiving information between two or more people. The person sending the message is referred to as the sender, while the person receiving the information is called the receiver. The information conveyed and include facts, ideas. Concepts, opinions, beliefs, attitudes, instructions, and even emotions. What you see now is the communication process from Chanel Weber models of communication. The next one is easy to understand. It's also the communication process. Types of communication. There are two types of communication. The first one is verbal communication, and the second one is nonverbal communication. Verbal communication is characterized by the following three attributes. The first one, verbal communication can express all kinds of ideas we want to express. Verbal communication can keep and disseminate information. Verbal communication can be clearer and more efficient than other ways. In addition, cultural factors need to be considered in verbal communication. The first one still in the verbal communication. According to Bovey and others, verbal communication is the expression of information through language, which is. Composed of words and grammar, verbal communication is the act of sharing information between individuals by the use of speech. Any interaction that makes use of spoken words is considered as verbal communication, and verbal communication may be two types: written and oral communication. Verbal communication takes place through face-to-face -face conversations, group discussions, counseling, interview, radio, television, calls, memos, letters, reports, notes, email, and etc. Semantics in intercultural communication. Semantics is a system that associates words to meaning. It is the study of words. 
the most convenient and thorough source of information about the semantics of a language of a language is the dictionary. Words have two dimensions of meaning. Denotation, the literal meaning or definition of a word. Connotation, the suggestive meaning of a word. For example, red color in Chinese and English. Pragmatics in intercultural communication. Pragmatics is the study of the effect that language has on human perceptions and behaviors. Pragmatics is the study of how speakers use the language to reach successful communication. It is used in a social context. For example, when you are doing homework with your classmates and somebody says, do you have an extra pen? So you give person a pen. Oral communication. In business, oral communication, whether in face-to-face -face situations or telephone conversation, serves many important functions. People learn the history of an organization and its culture primarily through the stories people tell. And relationships are forged or broken primarily by what and how things are said. Speaking effectively is extremely crucial for success in a formal working environment. It has been proven that employees spend more time speaking than writing, talking on the phone, conversing informally with colleagues, conducting meetings, or making sales presentations. Telephone calls. It is very important in international business. It is efficient and convenient for business people to send, receive information through calls. Most foreign business people have a habit of using telephones for what they are going to do before or after business, more frequently for making appointments. For example, cultural differences exist in making calls. Nonverbal communication. Communication with our words. Nonverbal communication is a process of communication through sending and receiving wordless messages. Verbal communication and nonverbal communication are interconnected and they operate together in communication. The difference between them is that we use our voice in verbal communication and we use body sign in nonverbal communication. Verbal and nonverbal communication plays an important role in how people interact with one another. People are using around 35% verbal communication and 65% nonverbal communication in daily life. A nonverbal communication has also cultural meaning. The power of nonverbal communication. Nonverbal communication is the most powerful form of communication, more than voice or even words. Nonverbal communication helps to create your image in others' mind, and even you can express your emotions and feelings in front of others, which you are unable to express in words. The form of nonverbal communication eye contact, facial expressions, posture, haptics or touch, gestures, and personal space.